Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and I'm with... With Dirk, with Paradise Biss. I think don't get discouraged by advertisement and don't follow the mainstream. You can achieve amazing results with little things. And I think this is pretty a pretty good start to uh, uh, for the first topic. Um, what would you recommend a young creator on a budget in terms of lighting. I know you're a lighting, lighting specialist, so you're even better than me. So tell me. Uh, I have been learning a lot about lighting just because um, I actually belong to uh, the Film Academy, Academy, which is <laughs> not sponsored plug. Uh, I belong to the Film Academy, which is Saint Shane Hurlbut's uh, mm -hmm. film school, online film school. Uh, he did like Act of Valor, he did Terminator Salvation. So I've kind of just, I'm learning how to be a DP from him and he goes very much into lighting. So I've kind of got, I've, I've sort of gotten into uh, gaffing and lighting myself. Um, but for starting out, you don't need much. I mean, right now I in the studio, I've, I've sw I used to be completely Aperture and Amaran and I've actually switched because um, you know, again, I have a bad back. I'm trying to get smaller and lighter. I'm trying to go smaller and lighter in my studio. My ceilings are not that high. Right. I'm using the right. I'm using the Zhuyun stuff, the or Zhuyun stuff, or Zhuyun stuff, or yeah, however you Zion, want to pronounce yeah. it. It's, 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 uh, I'm using, these are great 60, lights. Do you, I have a 100. do you have the mollos? What's that? What's that? Do you have the mollos? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, they're on right now. Yeah, perfect. I have the mollus. Yeah, Fantastic. I'm using all the mollus stuff right now. I have the 60 there with an aperture dome. I have a 100 bouncing off the wall, and then I have one right behind me with the uh, with the mini umbrella. And I have to say, like, they're Beautiful fantastic. Lights. Beautiful They're fantastic. Lights. They work well. They're quiet. They're small. Um, again, you know, I do have some soundproofing in this room, uh, but there's a reason I wear a body mic and I don't have a... Um, a regular microphone is because it's just the ceiling is not treated. Uh, but these are quiet. I never hear them. They're great. They're bright. They're small. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I did say that the 100 could catch fire. You just have to be careful. Uh, I know a couple of YouTubers have like burned their jackets or put it down on their floor and it like burned their carpet. It's like, okay, common sense when you use lighting. Lighting is hot. Even if it's LED, it's going to get hot. So, right. You know. Right. Um, but yeah, I like that. They're pretty affordable. I did have the 200 in the studio, uh, but I didn't, I had, mine had a problem with the uh, Bowens mount. It didn't fit other Bowens uh, stuff, which was odd. I think it was just a problem with, with the mount, but I sent it back anyway. Um, Cause, and I just bought another 100 um, just because that has, that you can't hook up a, um, you can't hook up a battery to it. It has no battery thing. You, mm -hmm. It has to, you, you have this, you have the big two pieces and it's, it became too much. Right. I like the 16 and I like the 100 because you can travel with it. You could take it with you anywhere. Um, so that's kind of what I'm using in the studio. And then the back, the, the purple there, that's two uh, Aperture P60Cs. Nice. So, and that's pretty much it. I do have the, the Nanlite FS3 uh, 300 by up there. And then I have a 60 uh by up the uh, mark two up uh in the back for my hair light when i do like audition videos musical theater videos when i do anything that i need to or like b-roll uh when i pull down my paper roll which is up there you can't see it but it's up there yeah so or if i want to do photography and and use uh continuous lighting it's mm -hmm. all there yeah now i but would again, also these... recommend for every creator to get one of these lights the smaller the better of course and then attach a nice soft box uh have one key light, one rim light, and for the for the beginning, this is pretty much all you need. If you can afford it, a, th a third light would help to get some color in the back. That would be really nice. But uh, that's pretty much all you need. And if you're really on a budget, 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 then use natural light as much as you can. And this sure. is how I started out. Uh, of course, it, it doesn't look as professional as when you have real lights, but uh, it will get the job done because the majority of your audiences, they don't watch it to see you shine. They watch it because they're interested in the product that you're talking about or they're interested in your content. And they are very forgiving when it comes to flaws in your production. So, yeah, I, 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 Actually, I'll tell you what I started with because I started in visual effects. I started with one of those halogen double, double bank work lights. 
uh, and I was just putting baking paper over it. Oh. And that's what I started with. And I was just like, diffu I was like putting like a, a curtain, a really, f a shower curtain really far away from it because because um, if it were, because I once put it closer and it set on fire. But that's what I started with. I was using like I was using like can lights. I was using like all the, all the stuff from like Home Depot. I always hear fire like really, when I mean, you talk. I mean, I mean, you can you, use you that stuff. Danger, right? You like the What's danger, that? right? I always hear fire when you talk about lighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you're learning, yeah, yes. that's right, kids. This is a PSA, kids. Don't use halogen lights. <laughs> no, from of Home course. Depot. Actually, oh, of they course. don't sell I, them I anymore. Get it. So. I get it. What do you think about these uh, small lights uh, the, that you put on top of your camera? Um, would you recommend people to use them or as a fill light or not at all? Um, it depends on the light. There's not so many little like pocket lights out. Um, the, the problem is they're all pretty much roughly the same. Uh, there's not a lot of output. Like, okay, if you're doing, if you're doing like, you know, if you're doing like interview stuff, mm -hmm. if you're just vlogging, then yeah, you could put a light on top of the camera. Right. That's fine. But when you're doing YouTube, you're going to need something a little bit stronger. Now yes. you can, there's tons of like newer and GVM There's tons of like three panel light kits that you can get like one by ones, kind of like what you have in the back there. Mm -hmm. um, those are also very good to start. Um, some other things I know that like newer makes those like little tiny. I think I have one somewhere, but I think it's in the other room. You know, there's there's tons there's tons of lighting. There's tons of ways to go. Right. There's no really one thing I would say you have to get this. Of course, because you course. because you could literally get two lights and a piece of foam board, uh, which I'm motioning to it like you could see it, but you can't. A piece of foam board or a piece of cardboard and just bounce it back at you, and that's all you need. Right. right. When you I know? was shooting outside, outdoors, uh, and it, the sun was setting, <laughs> I sometimes used the California sun bounce to as my second light source, and I had a friend holding this, and we bounced this light reflecting the sunset back onto the model and I was on the other side with mm. uh, a strobe light at the time and uh, a flashlight and uh, I took pictures and then we had two light sources. Sometimes you can help yourself by letting the light bounce off a subject of a reflector or the wall or whatever you have. So you can be super creative and innovative and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. That's important. Sure. <laughs> Gonna grab another toy. Be right back. <laughs> Sounds good. Another toy. I got all the toys about I'm very Adam Savage quick grab quick grab here in the studio. But I'm telling you, one of these, five bucks, right. ten bucks. Exactly. Yes. These things works. are wonders. Uh, you could literally have one light, uh, two lights and this, and that's all you need. Mm-hmm. So So but these things are fantastic. They're incredibly cheap. You can get them anywhere where film where film equipment are sold. Yep. Um so but that's, I have, this is I have one of, of these here. With. The only thing is, it is, it's this is a larger one, and it's uh -huh. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to put it back in place. Let me see if I can open this up. Oh yeah, here we go. So, but yeah, it's the same thing, and it uh -huh. has a golden side. It yep. has also a, a silver side and a white side. So this has uh -huh. three, three layers. It's the same thing. <laughs> the same one. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm like, that exactly. uh, you open that and I said, that looked familiar. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I think we got disconnected. We have to, I have to reconnect now. <laughs> Just a sec. Stephen Michael Zach and I got kicked out of the Zoom meeting because we were chatting way too long. Anyway, it was a pleasure and I hope we can do this very soon again. So I'd like to know from you guys what you think. Are there any upcoming projects that you need help with? Do you have questions or are there any topics that you would like Stephen Michael and me to discuss in our next meeting? Please leave us a comment below, we'll definitely respond. Thanks so much for watching this. Till the next time, stay safe and take care. Bye for now.